What's up, Aqua Gang? And Bruce 777 here today with your almost daily love reading. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I certainly am. We're ready to jump right in. Okay, guys, holy angels and spirit guys, give me clear, concise messages for my Aqua Gang, Gang, Gang. Give us exactly what we need to know, spirit. It's gonna be general, guys, okay? So it may or may not resonate, you already know. Put yourself where you belong in the story for all my cross watchers. Okay, if you have not subscribed to the channel and become a part of this family yet, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? Especially if this is, if you've been back more than once, you know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and do that, all right? <laughs> Quit bullshitting with yourself, you know? Just go ahead and do that. Click that subscribe button. If you're new, take a look around. Uh, we do cut up on this channel, guys, okay? I am an acquired taste. First and last warning. Also click that like button guys. Okay, support the channel so that this video can circulate and make it to those who need it as well. And we're gonna jump right in. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. I will have a new love message coming out for you guys pretty soon, um, but for now, this is where I've been intuitively guided. We're gonna start out with a few romance angels. Let's see what's going on. Overall energy, wow, really, that's a lot. <laughs> it's too much. Okay, so somebody doing too much. Which one of y'all? Which one of y'all? Somebody is doing way too much, you see? It's safe to love. So this is someone trying to yield you to trust them again, guys, okay? So for me to say again, that does mean that this is possibly someone who has lost your trust completely. Um, yeah, don't know the likelihood of that, ma'am, sir, bruh, sis. Like, once you've lost the trust, the likelihood of you getting the trust back is very slim, okay? It's very, 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 very slim, slim chance. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. But I think that maybe, guys, maybe, just for some of you, only because I mentioned new love in the beginning, this could be someone newer, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be someone from the past. This could be someone that you've just met or that you are just now getting your feet wet into this connection. Um, maybe it is hard for you right now to trust the process of love just because of what you've been through. I mean, that's totally understandable. So this is definitely someone though, for some of you, that's gonna, it's gonna be different for each of you. For some of you, this is someone from the past, unfortunately. Do not beat me up, you already know what it is. These motherfuckers always come back. It's your fault, okay? The love's too good, you know what I'm saying? The loyalty is too, it's just too much, right? It's, it's upper echelon, it's on another level. So them coming back is inevitable. Um, for others of you, this is the newer person who you may just feel a little bit timid, you know what I'm saying? And, and letting your feelings and letting your vulnerability show, it's almost like, yeah, I just need to see a little bit more from you. I just need to, um, you got to earn this, okay? You got to earn this trust. You got to earn like my loyalty. You have to learn all of, you have to, you have to earn all of the goodness that comes with me um the card does say it's safe though i mean that's from the universe guys okay so you can't make it up even if this is somebody from the past this could be someone who has went through a transformation now dare i say we going into a good reading with this you know what i'm saying i'm just saying i try to be as optimistic as possible guys okay then we have playfulness now that came up in the upright now, i don't like this okay now this could just be about being more flirtatious maybe you just want to keep things lighthearted for those of you who are deal who are in like a newer sort of connection for others we're dealing with children okay we're dealing with people who are who are less mature than we are okay whether that be energy wise, whether that be mental space, whether that be emotionally, whether that be spiritually, okay? Um, it says to, to, re, to recapture romance, allow your inner, inner youthful spirit to, um, your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So it does say recapture. So for the majority of you, this is someone from the past, okay? I know that's not what you wanna hear. I know, I know, I know, I know but I can't make it up guys, okay? So somebody wants to recapture the romance between the two of you. Someone may be trying to come in, just dip their toe in, you know what I'm saying, to see where you are with things, where your headspace is, uh, temperature check you. Now look, don't go around burning motherfuckers now, okay? Don't go around burning people. Like, don't check my temperature, son. Like, how are you when you left? Oh, okay, that's the same way it is when you return. So this is definitely someone who possibly tried to wait for things to cool off, right? And now here they come. If it's been an, an extended amount of time, the universe is saying it's safe. So that means that there were necessary changes, guys. So you may wanna take a, a closer look, you know? One or two looks, okay? Just before you completely shut the door. That's just... That's just what they're saying, okay? That's just what they said. 
Now, we do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, so somebody's definitely trying to get a listening ear from you. Now, for it to be heart-to-heart, -heart, this definitely signifies somebody who is coming in truthful, guys, okay? Even if the truth hurts, this person is going to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Um, I don't know if this, is, if this was their character in the past, all right? Because it does say, or it, it is signifying to me intuitively that this is someone who has made necessary changes to, to get you back. Wow. <sighs> Boy, this is a lot of shit, guys. I'm just saying. I mean, I didn't expect all of these cards to come out, all right? It says family, I'm um, healing family issues, all right? So your love life benefits from you forgiving your parents. So this is either someone who has trauma from the past or their parents did not set a great example, especially communicatively, okay? So this is someone who did not communicate well, guys. Their communication was shit, I'm just saying. You could not have a conversation with this person. You couldn't get across to them what it exactly is that you needed or they just didn't understand. You two didn't speak the same love language, okay? You didn't speak the same language at all, actually, okay? You would say one thing and what they would hear is something completely and totally different. So this is why all of the issues persist in this connection. Um, but, 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 I do feel like some changes have been made. So that's not entirely bad, y'all. It's not, it's not. I'm not mad at it. Now, for those of you who are like, girl, <laughs> You're the only one who's excited. Like, get this mother, get this person out of here. Like, just get them out of here. I don't care what they have to say. Um, they they had their chance to speak. You know, I gave them ample opportunity to to speak up. You know, or forever hold their peace. And they decided to forever hold that shit. So continue holding it. Okay. <laughs> wow. Playfulness. So they are gonna come in, guys. A little bit more flirtatious. A little bit more. Uh, let's be friends. Let's be cordial. Um, but that heart to heart conversation will not be very far off in the distance if you are to give this person a listening ear. They have healed from some things from the past, guys. Whatever these things or these traumas are that they were attempting to heal from in the relationship with you, they were not they were not able to do that. Being in the connection with you only worsened um, their triggers is what I'm hearing. OK, so the disconnect was inevitable. It had to happen. Um, they they had to be by themselves in order to see what their errors were, the errors of their ways, um, to see the forest beyond the trees, if you will. So we have poverty that came out in the reverse. So this is someone who definitely feels the lack without you. They do. Um, but they now see why it was necessary for things to happen in the order in which it did. So this could definitely be the conversation that they're trying to have with you. All right. I don't get the idea that this is someone who is coming in pointing the finger. Now, that's what we don't want. And I would advise them to not do that shit. See, message of concern so a lot of you are going to be receiving a message from this person guys okay message is okay um they are concerned just a little bit in reference to where you are with it what your energies are going to be and you know when this conversation happens they don't really know that's why they're going to come in and try and temperature check you first You're like i'm gonna burn the fuck out of them no don't do it don't do it Aqua. don't do it because Here's the thing, even if you don't end up with this person, here's what people don't, here's what people fail to realize, okay? Especially people from the past who, who tend to want to show back up, which is all the time with your ass, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I might give you a listening ear. Yeah, I might have a conversation with you. Yeah, I might, you know, maturely listen to what you have to say. That's just the human in me, okay? That's just the um, compassionate side of my being, okay? But, Forgiveness doesn't mean access, okay? That's not a, that, I'm not giving you no all access pass just because we've had a discussion and we're now all, we're now both on one accord in reference to what has happened. If you apologize, yeah, I might accept the apology, but you know, not my stay, stay the fuck away, right? Like, I, I love you, but I'm gonna love you from a distance, my friend, okay? Bruh, sis, ma'am, sir, I'm gonna love you from back there. Um, but they may just wanna get this off their chest, guys. It does say it's safe for you to love. That was the first card that popped out. Okay, so I don't know what you wanna do here. See, we have judication, right? So it does feel like, I feel like things are going to be coming back into balance between the two of you. Now, I don't know if you are willing to go towards this again, guys, okay? Maybe you you have decided in your mind that going towards the past is the one of the worst decisions that you could ever make. You couldn't think of anything stupider. You couldn't think of anything dumber you know what I'm saying you couldn't think of anything less than smart than to go towards the past 
but there are necessary changes here guys i just feel it in the energy i feel it i just feel it i feel it so don't beat me up adjudication is about someone wanting a day in court with you they want a chance to kind of hear you out right actually listen this time is what i heard okay because this is a person who was probably used to doing a whole lot of this when they needed to do more of that right shut the fuck up and listen to what i got to say right because you don't really know what you're talking about you don't really know what's going on here um even if they were to be quiet in the past and listen to what you have to say y'all didn't speak the same language so it never would have worked this separation had to happen in order for the two of you to get on one accord you see we have despair in the reverse so this is someone who definitely went through the motions guys this it has been quite some time okay if this is for you if this is for you this is someone who who you have been in disconnect from for a, a, a quite a bit of time, okay? And they have changed. There is transformation here. I feel like this person definitely did a number on you. We're not even going to pretend like that is not the case, okay? I feel like at the separation of this um, connection, the both of you were going through a time, all right? It was mirrored energy, the despair, okay? All right, sorrow, regret, sadness, very dark times, guys. You have to literally pick yourself back up and piece yourself back together. So that is also why it's giving me pause that they're asking you to trust them again. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'll talk to you, but I'll never trust you again. I, I'll forgive you, but I'll never forget what the fuck you did. Like, so, I mean... What are we gonna do here? Like, if I don't trust you, then what can we really make of this? Um, that might be your mindset when it comes to this, guys. Wow. Is it too late? Is it? You like, girl, don't ask me these dumbass questions. Finish your read. I don't even know why I'm here no more. No, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, see, options on options. So you may really be looking towards the future, guys. You may be really looking towards going towards something new, all right? But you do have someone who is they're going to be on your bumper, Aqua. It's going to be like not so fast. This may be a very persistent energy. This may be a very consistent type of texting. Um, someone who is willing to do the work is what I heard, guys. I actually, I like it. I'm not even going to lie. Don't beat me up. I do like it. I like the changes that have been made. With this judification card, um, I'm sorry, judication card, especially with that, I feel like justice is going to be brought to this situation. Whether you decide to go back towards this person or not, I don't get the idea that this is going to dive head first into a whole relationship okay um, but I do get the idea that it does have the potential to grow okay only because of the changes that have have been made okay it says never ending see so it's a soulmate connection guys this is not the first time you've encountered this person but I feel like in this lifetime they may have actually learned the lessons Ooh, see <laughs> You can't make it up. You cannot make it up, guys. This person has learned these lessons, guys, okay? So I got to give them their props. I know I'm, I'm used to calling your people stupid. I am. So I'm a little bit shocked. I'm shocked. On behalf of you, I'm shocked, okay? This playfulness card did come out, guys. I have to, I have to put that there. So maybe this conversation that they're having is going to be in reference to the things that they have worked on in accordance to their maturity, okay? Maybe they have matured in the sense that you would have wanted them to in the past, but <sighs> ma'am, sir, bruh, sis, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel you and I, I'm a proud of you. I'm proud of what you did. Don't know if Aqua is going to give you a chance, though. Like, I mean... Please make sure you've made all these changes for yourself because the betrayals from the past, especially you broken Aqua's trust, don't know if a relationship is possible. You know what I'm saying? It may take a lot of work. I do feel like they are willing to do that work though, Aqua. I did say that in the beginning. I do feel like they're willing to put in the effort this time. I do, I do, I just feel that, okay? It's gonna take a lot of time though, a lot of time. I think that you're even gonna put them like on a roster. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be at the back of the line. <laughs> It's like take a number. You know what I'm saying? I got too many other people to entertain at this time. I have too many other applicants in this moment. You know what I'm saying? For you to have already been fired, like why the fuck would I ever, you know, hire you again? Oh boy. You said they walked out. <laughs> There was no call, no show. So did this person disappear? Did they disappear from this connection? Is this someone who ghosted you possibly or um, did you ghost them? Somebody was no call, no show. See children showing up. So definitely immaturity was at play here. This is the conflict in this situation. So 
I keep saying it and I'll say it again. They have changed, guys. They have. I just don't know, you know, if you're in that space anymore to be able to entertain this again. You're a different person. Um, the both of you had to go through some sort of transformation, but it, it may be too little too late. I'm just going to say that, okay? See, law. Wow, you cannot make this up, guys, okay? This is how they feel you affected. So you ghosted this person, Aqua. You got the fuck out of Dodge. All right, Casper out that ass. You know what I'm saying? They weren't able to find you. Um, it also says blocked and cut off. So definitely feel like there were several cycles in this relationship, guys. I just have to be very honest with that. I see a merry-go-round. I also see like a Ferris wheel. So for me to see Ferris wheel, that means this shit was moving slow as fuck. It was moving very, very slow. The progression of this relationship, a lot slower than what you deemed a normal relationship should be going because this person was so immature. They weren't able to move at the pace of an adult. Okay, they were crawling. They weren't walking yet, guys. Okay, they were. They were. They were still in a walker. You know what I'm saying? With toys and shit, sandboxes. They wanted you to cater to them and take care of them. Um, but they have since grown. But it just might be too late. Damn. This person's fears, see? This person fears, so this, is, this isn't this is the position of what they fear out of this connection. They do fear that you won't give them the opportunity to show and prove, okay? They are willing to do the work. I said that, you can't make it up. They are, but I just don't know if they'll have the opportunity to do that. The last thing you wanna do is waste your time, okay? Once a person crosses a certain line, there is no coming back. There is no coming back, you know what I'm saying? So this is a person who really played with things. Um, it had to happen this way, though. It's divinely guided. I just keep hearing that. But they do fear that you're not going to allow them to show you. It says show me at the bottom. That you're not going to allow them the opportunity to show and prove what they've done, the work that they've done. Um, that's why I said to, to them, okay, all right, sit your ass down here, Aqua's person. Please make sure you make these changes for yourself because a lot of you do not have the opportunity to come back and prove that these changes have been made. You, you ran out of chances, okay? So you're gonna have to have a radical acceptance speech with yourself that the shit is dead, 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 okay? And be okay with that. <laughs> Aqua will possibly have a conversation with you, possibly forgive you and get on one accord, but that does not mean you have access again. Do you understand? All right. So now that we're both there with it, let's go on over to the extended. I do wanna see what their hopes for the future of this connection is, what their next steps are gonna be, their intentions, and the best possible outcome for this. I also wanna see what the lesson is for both of you in this, especially you. Why did this person have to show up? Why did, why did all of this have to transpire? What was the universe really trying to show and tell you? And we're also gonna get your messages from spirit, right? Spirit hitting you up in the DMs. I wanna see how you can speed up momentum to, momentum to your, I'm sorry. I want to see how you can speed up momentum to union with your divine counterpart. OK, what can you do to speed up and propel that energy towards your loving and healthy relationship? That's what you really want. I just feel it intuitively, even if it's not with this person. We are going to see what spirit has to say about that. I also want to see what blockages on your self love journey may have you uh, still attracting the same type of people. Why do the say the same energies and the same people keep showing up? And I also want to see um, how you can release any negativity or toxic patterns from your life. This is going to propel your energy to the highest frequency and that's law of attraction. That will automatically attract the, all the best out of life. That's finances, spirituality, and in love. So come on over with me to the extended guys. First, click that like button, okay? Don't forget, click that subscribe button. And I'm gonna see you over there at the extended. Let's cut up a little bit. It's gonna be linked down below in the description box.